Get another 10 pounds off by Saturday, Duffy? Oh, sure, Countess. Two stiff workouts and he'll be ready for the race of his life. Good. But remember, Duffy, since Reno, it isn't Countess anymore. It's Hilda Spots again, plain American. Great Georgia, man. How come they put all that magnificent stuff in one woman? Look here, man. When I turn, if what I see ain't Steve Canfield, I bust you right in your good eye. Well, turn around, honey. Mmm, I enjoyed that. Half love and half mint julep. I should have known you were here when I saw Old Faithful. That's me, Miss Fonts. Nice looking critter you got here. Johnny Rappin? Mm-hmm. I think he's the best looking male animal in town, next to you. That buys you a dinner tonight, beautiful. Only I'd uh, take off those pants and put on a dress that can throw a few curves at me. I think you're pretty, too. Uh, Steve, uh, what about the snow my handicap tomorrow? It looks like a setup for my grader. What about your horse, Mr. McGillicuddy? That's a pretty tough assignment for an ordinary plater. You'd tell me if you thought he could win, wouldn't you, Steve? For all time's sake? Would a man hold out on the only woman he ever loved? Remind me to bet $100 on my Gillicuddy tomorrow. <laughs> Not a soul. Steve, darling. Uh, um, Miss Spots, Dr. Waters. Hello, doctor. I just wanted to say, sweet man, if I'm not in my room when you call, I'll be in the bar. Goodbye, doctor. Good evening, Miss Spots. Evening, Dr. Skelly. Get the brandy bottle up here without delay. Oh, undercover Steve Canfield, isn't it? It was a dilly you brought to life this afternoon. You must have made yourself a fortune. Didn't know he could run in the mud. Didn't have a nickel on him. No. Are you going to cut your throat, or have you? I wish I hadn't thought of it. Look like a good colt, McGillicuddy. Might beat my horse in the Baldwin Cup Saturday. No, he hasn't got a chance. Oh, he could take third or fourth money, but he hasn't got the class to beat Johnny Rapid. I nominated him as a two-year-old on the chance that he might develop into something. Oh, don't tell me this is brandy. No, ma'am. Brandy sharpens, stimulates. I recommend this, Miss Spots. Something to bring out the low, sweet tones. If I wanted low, sweet tones, I'd get a cello. Give me some brandy. What's wrong with this, Stems? Old Lady Destiny comes along bearing gifts. We don't know enough to take them. This is one, huh? Passed up something yourself recently? Stems, what causes a man to pass up a really great gal like you and fall in love with a shelf of books? The bookshelf is the one with the cool face and the uh, warm figure. What's wrong with her? Mm, nothing. Nothing. But what would a man like me be doing married to an encyclopedia? An encyclopedia with a shape like that? I suppose what you're trying to say is that you and I should have gotten together in the first place instead of dashing up and down blind alleys. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? We've always been friends. And what did falling in love with a count get you? No use, Pappy. I'm not going to marry any man who's in love with another woman. And that's final. At least for tonight. Tomorrow, who knows? Who knows anything? I dropped in here for a drink to fortify myself for the job of tossing that gang of scientific wingdingers out of my room. And now what? You've had a drink and softened up. Can't make war on old men and women, can I? So I'll just move out of the rooms and let them have them. Going up? I think I'll stay for one more. Um, drop by my room after you've made your exit. It's 416. 
I'll be there. Can you imagine anything more colorless than marrying a man you've known all your life? Still, a woman's got to have someone around to do the heavy work. What brought on that gorgeous feeling? Must have been this. Who invented this drink? A lady, poor thing. Died at the age of 103 while on her honeymoon with her 12th husband. We've covered everything else. Shouldn't we be getting back to proposition number one? Which proposition is that? Remember? <laughs> the one about we were clocks not to have married in the first place. Now look, Stamps. All I said was perhaps we should have gotten married. Perhaps. Understand? Oh, so this is a second place. I know. And you didn't say positively. But after selling me the idea, you changed your mind. Well, I... Ah, you saw that little professor gal again, huh? What's your professor of? <coughs> Biology? You know, you fell for the idea because it sounded comfortable. Not because it's something you really wanted. Could be. But how do you know you haven't aroused something in me that's long been asleep? Where's that effect? Stamps. Look at me, Steve. <laughs> Beat it, Skelly. Am I a woman or not? Isn't it possible that I might want the comfort of a man's arms? Yours? I said, beat it, Skelly. So I'm still in love with a cow. You're in love with someone, too. But if we can't have them, what? Are we going staggering through life all by ourselves like a couple of clucks? For the love of... What is it, Skelly? Oh, we just wanted to say, ma'am. Number one, after coffee. Number two, late conversation. Number three, nightcap. In the event of hiccups, one teaspoonful and hold the breath. To clear the head, inhale deeply. <laughs> I adore you, Skelly. Good night. Though we can't have exactly what we want, there's still something for us. Companionship and, uh... Good books. Now look here, Steve Canfield. You started this whole thing and it makes good common sense. It appeals to me. And look, we have the advantage of knowing each other. We like the same things. We'd be good pals. We could race our horses together. Hey, how about that? We could race Johnny Rapid and your horse, Miguel Cuddy, as an entry. The Spots Canfield entry. Can't lose. And Saturday night, we get married. Some fun, huh? Now, look, Stamps. I know it sounds like great stuff, but don't you think we should give it a little more thought? Oh, stop tiptoeing around. There was nothing conservative about you when we were kids. <laughs> and besides, I don't ask men to marry me every day. What do you mean turning me down? Look out, Stim. I won't look out. I'm plenty mad. <laughs> Cut it out, Stim. No. Say please, baby. Please. <laughs> please, baby. Baby. What? 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 Wah-wah. An old Indian love call. We were just going to build a campfire and toast some marshmallows. Do join us, Doctor. I hate marshmallows. Baby, 